2020. Win together. Hello and welcome to Hamban Tota, where we have match five of the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. It's the Dambula Viking up against the Jaffna Stallions. Earlier we had the toss. Dambula Viking winning the toss and opting to bowl first. And we expect that this will be another exciting affair. The first of a doubleheader of matches coming to you. Jaffna Stallions uh, making one change to their side. Ushman Shinwari from Pakistan coming in for Kyle Abbott. But uh, they have a very good team, well balanced. Fernando at the top had an unbeaten 92 in that first game. And for the Viking, well, two changes to their side. Paul Sterling comes in for Oshada Fernando. And after Alam, the Afghanistan player comes in for Sudip Tiyagi. The two batsmen, Minot Banuka and Avishka Fernando, the star of a couple of nights ago. Jaffna, Stallions has the best, or you could say, well-rounded bowling attack. And he's the one who's going who's gonna to start the innings. He's got a good strike rate. Average is also decent. He's got a job to do. Avishka Fernando... Uh getting the highest individual score so far in the tournament he will have a new partner Mindu Banuka. here we go first delivery short and ham it away can't bowl wide on this surface i'm not quite sure he wanted that length and width as well gone nice length nice line maybe a bit of outward movement and it finds the outside edge first wicket What about the line? What about the length? That was crucial. Hard ball. Lairu Kumara is that type of bowler who hit the deck. Avishka Fernando for four. Stallions are one down for four. Left-handed uh, Tom Moores comes to the crease. Cut away. Wasn't that wide. But he had the room to free his arm through the offside. It's a My 11 circle champion shot. <laughs> loud appeal, loud appeal. Finger goes up, wicket number two. That's a brilliant take behind the stumps. Brilliant. The wicket keeper did that. Beg your pardon. It was outrage, wasn't it? Lock Fuller. The length really wasn't there for Tom Moores trying to go square out of the wicket they started to lose wickets Tom Moore's for five yeah. nine for two then enjoyed the silver the new batsman oh shot pitch delivery tried to work the ball on the onside outside edge and a boundary and a welcome boundary that's nicely worked away Pull the way, finds the fielder. How often have we seen this? Not the best of deliveries, but it produces a wicket. We were talking wickets. Well, the Viking, the Dumbledore Viking, they keep striking. They've picked up three. Everything going their way. And they're well on top as Minot Banuka walks back to the pavilion. He's gone for six. The Jaffna Stallions are in deep trouble. 24 for three. The experience uh, Shoaib Malik comes to the crease. Classy shot. Wasn't a bad delivery. He was just punched off the back foot. Carved through. That's Dananjay De Silva. A very good player. Got him. He tried again. He tried to go inside out. That's the fourth wicket down. First delivery was cut away this time. Maybe the arm ball as well. Just angling into the right hander. And Patel strikes. Wicket number four. The Dambula Viking. They're on fire with the ball. Dan and De Silva goes for 16. 36 for four. 
Chaturanga De Silva. He can bat. Gets an edge. And down to the boundary. Not where he intended it to go, but doesn't matter. Down the ground. Beautiful, clean hit. That is terrific. That has gone for half a dozen. That is a wonderful shot. What a way to treat a birthday boy. Not fair. There might be something there. There is something there. On his way now. Finger went up. There's a little present, maybe. We've spoken about the experience. We've spoken about what Sir Malik could do. And brilliant catch down the leg side. Don't forget, he, he, he's covered by the batsman. He had to have his hands in the right place. So Sir Malik goes for 23. It's 64 for 5. Greeted to the crease with a huge six. Chaturanga de Silva. Another one. Two and two. Tisara Pereira was done by the slower delivery. I think he took off a bit of pace. Oh, look how keen he is looking at the ball. Ah. Wide open, eyes wide open. Again in the slot for same result. It started to look dangerous. Pereira. Well, the umpire. Just checking this uh, run out. Decision pending. Oh, yes, yes. I think this could be out. Yes, that's a confirmation. But an unfortunate way to go. Once again, pressure back on. Uh, Jaffna Stellions contributing handful 29 and found the gap once again uh, favoring that area behind point down the ground this on a Pereira yeah he's not holding back oh he's gone again he's gone again and he's nailed it he's absolutely nailed it oh just over the top and it's skimmed away for a boundary half century for the captain my 11 circle champion shot to bring up his eighth half century Tisara Pereira he's been around so long you'd expect he'd have more half centuries but batting like this he's gonna add on 150 up for the stallions as well oh that's nicely played gave himself a bit of room smacked it over the top and he's grabbed six slice that away got himself a boundary to finish that ends up being a really good over as well 17 from it off the 17th over 169 for six and the wicket tickle through to the keeper that's what they needed they needed to break that partnership really good stand has been finished birthday boy strikes birthday boys keep striking for the dumbula viking Samit patel and now, Aftab Alam, but a wonderful knock, a great cameo from the one Guanindu Hasaranga, 24 of 10. Stallions are 170 for 7. He's got that away and he's got it away fine, that's 4, that is a good way to start the over, that's not a good ball first up. He's got underneath that, it's not going to go all the way, or is it? 
That's high. And it's gone far enough as well. That's gone for six. Oh, he's underneath that and he's hammered it. That is right out of the middle again. This is outstanding. This really is brilliant stuff from the skipper. Oh, he's got underneath that as well. He's hammered that for six too. Magnificent. Oh, that's solid again, and that's gone for four. That is the highest over in this tournament. Magnificent stuff. Brings up the 200 as well. This is outstanding. No wonder they're smiling. 19 gone. Massive. 30 from it. 202 for seven. He's had a go at that, and he's got six runs. Oh, he's got underneath that one. And that's been hammered for six. It's exactly what he's trying not to do. No, bottom edge. Thinking about two, though. Well bowled, very well bowled. 218 for seven. What a player, Tisara Pereira. What a knock. Let's not forget the, 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 uh, the contribution of, of, of uh, the De Silva brothers. They were both fantastic. They, they played exceptionally well and allowed Tassara Pereira to take the game on at the end. Malik looked good too, strangled down the leg side, but Chaturanga De Silva promoted, played a fantastic role to set it up for Tisara Pereira and Vanindu Hasaranga. Okay, we have got some work to be done so far in this game. Viking need 219 runs to win. And their uh, atmosphere in the change room won't be great right now, I'd imagine. And of course, they've got 20 overs to get them from. Right, let's see how the bike can go. These two can go. Niroshan Dekwella and Paul Sterling from Ireland can all hit a ball. So this game is far from over. If one of these two get going, the Dumbledore Viking can make the stallion sweat for their win. Usman Khan Shinwari. Oh, that's nicely bold. It's a bustling action. And well, that's better. Oh, a bit of movement. And that's ended up actually on his offside. Not too short. Is it the back of the bat, maybe? Oh, he's picked that up, and that's flat, and it's six. Tries to catch it. He said it's straight to the man and mid-off. That's another soft dismissal. He did it the other night. He's done it again tonight. He's good at using the pace, and that's what you do to batsmen. Force them to hit in areas that they are not strong. That's a big blow for the Dumbula Viking. He's gone for 20, Niroshan Dikwella. They're 24 for one. Couple Taranga. There's the next man in. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Square on the offside for four. Nicely played again by Upul Taranga. Top edge should be taken. Yes, an easy catch. Moz makes no mistake. And that's wicket number two. Well, Paul Sterling was very regimental about employing that stroke. He failed so many times. And he goes for two off nine deliveries. 39 for two. Oh, gets off the mark. That's a classic shot. Great start to his innings. Another big one. S six, just over the line. Taranga getting into the act, but finds the fieldsman. Well taken by Banuka, who is excelling himself in the outfield for a wicket keeper. Nicely judged as well. He's walking back dejectedly after scoring 15. 63 for three. Dasun Shanaka. Oh, 
That's going fine. And that will run away. Patel strikes it well. Excellent use of the feet. Oh my goodness. That's the wrong one. Completely foxed in. Look at the length again. The googly. He was caught in no man's land. He was looking to come forward. Was almost stuck in the crease. Patel goes for a quick fire 41. It's 89 for four. Agwar Ali, the new batsman. Tucked away. Goes for six. A ramp down to third man. Oh, just wide up in one bounce and four. Make it 20. Another my 11 circle champion shot. Clean strike. Picks this one up nicely. Haven't really seen anyone take the attack to Hasaranga. That's in the air. And I think it's going to say no. Well judged. Very well judged catch. You remember once he tried to catch and Hasaranga intervened. And very well done. Underneath it, made sure that it fell right into the bread basket. And rally out to a quick 21. 124 for five. And that's heaved on the onside, and that has gone for six runs to start the over. That is terrific. Full toss. Solid. On the bounce, though. Oh, no, it's done him. Full toss again. Now, that's gone over top of extra cover, and there's always runs there. That is a beautiful shot. That's a boundary region. Is it going to be out? It should be taken. It is taken. It gets the reward in the end. Dasson obviously trying to get his hands through the ball. Well bowled. Was it Kata? Kata Bavinura. Really well bowled. Took the pace off. Caught out at long run. Yep. Forced Sanaka to reach for it. Sanaka gone for 35. 141 for six are the Dumbulla Viking. Should be taken, and it is taken. Oh, you can't keep uh, the skipper, the Sahara Pereira, out of this game. There we go. Hits that hard length, hard length. Very good catch, running, running in. But Usman Khan should worry. Lairu Madhushanka. He goes without troubling the scorers. The Viking, the Dumbula Viking, 144 for seven. And there's a wicket. Off the glove, Moore's doing the job. So Olafir is uh, in the game. Tried to get it over the keeper, but only ended up feathering it to Tom Moore's. Ramesh Mendis, he made 10. Dumbula Viking are now 151 for eight. And he's followed him, hit it straight up in the air. Or oh, might be collision, no. That's always the keepers if he's near. Ooh. Perfect. Feet position, quick. It's to come out or not. Number of Vikings, 152 for nine. Oh, here's a mix up, here's a mix up. It's going to be run out by 20, no, 10 yards. As it is in the end, run out by 10 yards. That's the end of the game, and that is a seriously good win by the Stallions. They have done superbly well after being in a great deal of trouble, and he was an absolute star, the captain, Tassara Pereira. This is how it ended up. Brother to brother. Today, no misunderstandings. The other day, the two were in a big muddle. Those, the two in the big muddle are the batsmen. One in the Hasaranga, the Chaturanga, his older brother. No dramas, job done.
the two brothers with the bat as well on either side of Tisara Pereira set up the score. A very impressive all round day from the Ojafna Stallions. I thought they were outstanding. Tisara Pereira, the man of the moment, led with the bat and finished off with the ball.